Hi everyone and welcome to another midweek video. Today I want to talk about why the narcissist imitates you and I have three main reasons why they do this. We already know narcissists are insecure and good at faking it. They fake being confident, they fake being nice, they fake being successful, they also fake being happy. So it bothers them when they meet people who are not fake. As a result, narcissists envy our individuality and independence. They hate it when we are confident, successful and happy. They hate us, but they need us. They envy us because they want to be us. The narcissist admires you to destroy you and if they could trade places with you, they would. If they could be you, they would. But because they cannot be us, the only thing left to do is imitate us. So imitating, mirroring, copying or studying others is something narcissists do in order to build an identity for themselves. Narcissists suffer from an identity crisis, so they look to others, other people and resources to build an identity they can be proud of, but also for other reasons. And the first reason narcissists imitate people is to be liked. Narcissists want to be liked because with being liked comes narcissistic fuel. More people will want to be around them, look up to them, trust them, and narcissists want that. So they look to develop themselves, or rather their false persona, to be the ideal social butterfly. They pick up traits from books, movies, and people around them. They choose all the best traits of someone who appears friendly, kind, and caring. It's all an act to the narcissist and they take their role play seriously. The second reason narcissists imitate people is the simple fact that they want to be like you. When a narcissist realizes someone is admired, adored or respected, they want that for themselves. So they will observe this person closely to pick up on some of their mannerisms. It could be the way they dress, how they speak, what they do in their spare time, etc. Whatever it is that the narcissist realizes about you that other people like, they will try and become that. Which seems innocent enough, but they usually want it to the point where they steal the spotlight from you and push you totally out of the picture. The third reason narcissists imitate people would be to manipulate. When a narcissist is able to manipulate you, they have the upper hand. So this is what I believe to be the main reason why they imitate people. They want to trick you into thinking that you all have things in common. This is very important because the narcissist knows that you are more likely to trust them if they share similar beliefs, interests and behaviours as you. And it is true that it is easier to trust someone who appears to have a lot in common with you. And predators, like narcissists, know this. So they are willing to study you and mirror you in order to gain your trust, which is what the narcissist needs to gain access to your heart and your life. Because when you share similar interests with someone, it is easier for you to build a relationship and form emotional bonds. And this is exactly what the narcissist wants, which is to gain your trust and have you become bonded with them. It gives the illusion of intimacy. Narcissists are illusionists, deceivers and manipulators. They cannot offer true intimacy. 
This is something I spoke about in this video where I talk about the different types of intimacy and the limitations narcissists have when it comes to intimacy. Because when they are imitating us, that is not their true self. So we end up bonding and being intimate with someone who doesn't really exist. And that is why I say the intimacy is only an illusion. They are one of the fakest, most insecure people you could ever meet. Their best self is fake and their true self is dark and deadly. I guess it would be safe to say that their main intention of imitating others is to cover up their dark, ugly, true nature with a made-up self created specifically to charm and captivate people and draw them in with lies and deceit. When in reality, they are but a shell of a person who takes what they can from everyone around them. They are selfish manipulators and abusers who have nothing good to give, but can end up taking everything from you. Be wary of anyone who is too eager for a relationship with you and seem to study your actions only to later mimic you. Trust your gut and if someone seems too good to be true, they probably are. Okay, that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to click that like button and do leave me a comment below. Many thanks for listening.